Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So few things which you should consider while writing the lambda is like how we are handling the request, how we are sending the response, writing the synchronous lambda handlers or asynchronous lambda handlers. Okay. Few uh, the la one mistake I have did I have done in the last video. So let's correct that. So finally I converted that to the async handler, right? If you are writing async handler then using this callback doesn't make any sense although it is not going to throw any error right you are writing async and you should avoid using callback what you can do is simply is you are getting event in context the whole objective of the async handler is you can just return a plain javascript object that contains your status code body or some message or something but status code will tell API gateway okay this is what the status code we are getting from the lambda and if status code is 200 you can also send something response in the body right so if validate async then what you can do is you simply return from these places or you can write one common function that will take care of all these things I can just add one function like this const create response and I will just return that match function with this create const response and I'm saying a 400 is a bad request that's it so the second argument can be a default because in correct id we are sending 501 yeah create response we are calling so same thing we can use at all the places instead of returning a callback we can actually get rid of call callback from the whole application we will just do the cleanup for this. If error is there, we will return the create error response. If everything is fine, then we can just return a status code. Status code is 200 and data something which we are going to get. If we are getting catch, then you will just create the response and you will return it. Error dot status code or you will get it somehow. If there is any particular error is occurring that error dot status code should be there. Okay, something like this, we will figure it out how to extract the error code. But now this looks like, like clean. This is this is a weight block. Okay, now we can also clean this up if there is any exception is happening. Instead of callback, what we can do, do is we can just simplify it a bit. If there is an error, then just throw it. So we will be able to catch it. This is async function, we don't need a callback. Okay, so we will call this function db connect and execute like for each and every lambda if there is any error that means there is something wrong. We don't need to write it inside a wrapper. We can just do a try catch. So await db connect and execute if it runs fine that means everything is fine for our whole execution otherwise there is a connection error most probably and we will wrap it inside a try catch so this is try catch if we get any error then we'll just call it cool so this is our lambda handler and now let's clean this up so user.save let's format this Okay, create user, try catch. So if there is any connection error, we are throwing it here from here and it will directly go to the catch. Okay, this is try catch. We are getting the creating the user object, validating it. Validate sync is not a promise based, synchronous. Everything is fine, await and then user.save. This also we can do a promise based instead of doing something like this. Await user.save 
and then if everything is fine I will save should return something I mean it should return a document and what we can do is return status code 200 and data oh sorry it's a body json dot stringify i mean the whatever the way you want this document okay this is more simplified more cleaner and using async handlers right we we can get rid of callback now you can write other methods get put delete and all these things this should look more clean okay uh, thanks everyone so now next thing we can also talk about okay how we can use aws sdk with lambda node.js code to integrate s3 or to talk to sqs sns all these things so that is the the future videos which i'm going to publish okay thanks everyone